Very good evening. You're watching the explosive weekend debate with me, Kritsween Valia. Viewers, the Khatakat debate is back with the BJP gunning for the Congress by turning on its head the remark made by its own party chief, Malikarjun Kharge. It all began with Malikarjun Kharge rapping Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister DK Shiv Kumar for hinting at revisiting the Shakti scheme, which offers free bus rides to all women in the state. Following this, Malikarjun Kharge urged Congress leaders in Karnataka and perhaps elsewhere especially in Maharashtra, to make only financially feasible promises. This gave fresh ammunition to the Bhartiya Janta Party to slam the poll guarantees made by the Congress in states where it enjoys power. The Prime Minister led the charge for the BJP and highlighted the poor fiscal health of Himachal, Telangana and even Karnataka owing to some of these big poll guarantees and even... And ever since, uh, there has been a continuous back and forth between the two parties with Congress's allies also wading in and seeking answers on issues like unemployment, inflation, crimes against women and several other issues they say remain unresolved by the BJP-led NDA for the past 10 years. In fact, Malikarjun Kharge called Modi ki guarantee a cruel joke on 140 crore Indians. But the fact remains, the word of caution on poll guarantees this time around has come from one of Congress's own. Before we take that up with our experts joining us this evening, here's the story so far. और जो व्यक्ति गलती से भी सच नहीं बोले हैं कभी भी वो कांग्रेस पार्टी पर आरोप लगा रहा है कांग्रेस अपने किसी भी प्रॉमिस को कभी भी फुलफिल नहीं कर पाई And join me now welcoming Shahzad Poonawala, national spokesperson of the BJP, along with spokesperson of the Congress, Sujata Paul, and Ashish Gawande, spokesperson of NCP, Sharat Pawar faction. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, and uh, uh, Sujata, for joining us this evening. It's a very important topic given that, uh, you know, we're in the midst of a very exciting election. In days from now, we'll uh, see how the story unfolds in a crucial election such as Maharashtra. But Sujata, my first question is to you. Isn't it high time for the Congress to now introspect, given that this warning, this alarm bell has been sounded by none other than its own party chief, Malik Arjun Kharge, especially ahead of Maharashtra elections? This is not the BJP raking it. Certainly. What Mr. Kharge has said, that whenever we announce any promises before uh, we go into polls, we must look at the budget and accordingly uh, make promises. And we must make few promises which are deliverable and which people can absorb also during the election campaign. That is what he was trying to say. But uh, when, when you talk about Mr. Modi, I want to uh, want to remind your viewers of the two crore jobs per year that he had promised. And he used to say, And uh, he would bring down the price of uh, the gas cylinder, which was around 400, 500 rupees at that time. If you remember, he said petrol and diesel prices are very high and we are going to bring them down. And the Baba business wale, Mr. Ram Dev Ji, and the Shri Shri Ji mm. had said that uh, they would bring the, uh, the prices of petrol and diesel down to 35 rupees. Mm. And uh, of course, it was not them who would be doing it. According to them, the Prime Minister would do it if he became the Prime Minister. If he has become the Prime Minister... Where are the 15 lakhs per uh, account that he was supposed to be sending? Mm. Where, but you know, the point is that he... No, while, while, while Sujata, I, I will go across to Shahzad for all of those questions that are being raised by you. But I want to once again reiterate, highlight as many times that this is something that's been said by Malikarjun Kharge. He is 
sending out a warning to DK Shiv Kumar and beyond leaders in Maharashtra that before you make election promises, please introspect on what the financial situation of your state is. Why has it not been followed? And if there is an admission being made by the party chief, shouldn't the Congress today apologize for having made no. these promises and now being forced to perhaps revisit on some of these promises? That's sweet. What uh, he has said is that when you're going and preparing your uh, uh, election campaign and for that you make promises, make sure that you make promises that you can deliver. He hasn't said that we haven't delivered and as far as... Uh, no, but hasn't, not hasn't, time, hasn't, hasn't his reaction come in after Sujata? DK Shiv Kumar dropped the hint on revisiting the Shakti scheme because it does set a bad precedent. It speaks volumes of how you're not being able to deliver. Wasn't it correlated? Mm -hmm. No, Kritsvi, it's basically his, what he said was twisted. But I will tell you what Mr. Siddharamaya, who's the chief minister of Karnataka, has said. He has also tweeted. He has said that Karnataka's fiscal performance has reached new heights in 2024-25. And he has mentioned that 1,3689 crore has been generated in terms of revenue. And this, has, this is basically 53% of their annual target. And uh, uh, they, they've shown this in the first seven months. So what are we talking about? So uh, twisting is BJP's forte. Let them twist it. But as far as the guarantees are concerned, they are being implemented. And uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar has also said okay. that uh, the, the Shakti scheme is going to continue. Women are con going to continue to have free bus rides. Okay, let's not forget this is the same Siddharama. And I, I want to go across to Shahzad. But this is the same Siddharama Sujata who received not too long ago letters by his own MLA stating that we're not being given enough funds to develop our constituencies. We're really not being able to deliver uh, you know, on what people voted us for in the first place. So there's a letter that's been shot off, an admission that came in from Deputy Chief Minister D.K. Shivkumar, and we're talking no. about the same two people today. Not at all. Which means I, I'm going to reiterate that uh, uh, the what we have inherited from the BJP government is a very, very fiscally weak, uh, fiscal, uh, uh, you know, weak fiscal... Uh, and yet you decided to make but, some of these big coal promises... You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I just quoted uh, Mr. Siddhar and Maya that we've already achieved the target that we have set in the, uh, in the first seven months. We've achieved the target of 53% uh, of that budget. So the fact is that we are going to revive everything and we are going to set the uh, motion of development faster. It's not like uh, Mr. Modi will come and say, free Russian thing, get jobs, need and get two crore jobs is what he had promised. How many has he delivered on? And then when you ask him these questions, he will say, oh, uh, jobs are not just uh, government jobs. What jobs are we talking about? He does not want to have jobs in the government sector because he wants to take away reservation from the people of this country. And he has been punished by uh, the people of this country. He did not get those charts. Okay. We, we'll stick to poll guarantees. Let's not move to reservations because then it's going to be a long, long night and we don't have that much time, unfortunately. But Shahzad, a lot of questions being raised with the BJP. Interestingly, after this comment was made by Malik Arjun Kharge, Malik Arjun Kharge decided to give the report card back to the BJP that this is what you've not been able to fulfill. I have been very patient in listening to the panelists from Congress and I hope she will extend the same courtesy because her track record has not been such. So with that uh, disclaimer, I'm starting my comments. First of all, targeting Congress people. is a pull. Uh, there she goes. No, because you're targeting me. Okay, let's, let's, let's not get personal. You, you, you have your time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't I do it again. Let's not do this. Not you, don't you, have, you have, you you have a lot of points to make this evening, Shahzad. And so does Sujata. So, 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 so let's let's no, get no, to the he point. Should not make personal okay, uh, Sujata. Right? Okay, okay. Let, let him respond. Prove, your, prove me wrong by keeping quiet then and listening to me with patience. You keep quiet and don't keep pointing at me. Shahzad, make your point. Yes, go ahead. Shahzad, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Make your point. Please, Kitsween, with your protection, I am starting my points. First of all, Congress is what I call political charso bees. It is a political charso bees and therefore Mr. Khadge has to sing them, sing to them, Jo Vada Kiya Tha Rivana Padega. Now I'll tell you why they have to sing this song. She is saying about two crore jobs. Are Baba, RBI, SBI ka report padlo. In the last 10 years, we have given 12 crore jobs. That's why we got voted into power three times over. And from 2011 onwards, Congress has never repeated any government 
it has not come to power once again after being in government for five years. Mm -hmm. And let me just finish by asking five specific questions. Himachal Pradesh, fifteen hundred per women. How many women were given that specific answer? Give it. Secondly, Himachal Pradesh, three hundred units of electricity free. Will they give? How many houses were given? In fact, to increase the electricity prices there. तेलंगाना 200 सौ यूनिट फ्री देंगे कितने घरों में दिया देखो बलून भी आ रहा है कितने घरों में दिया उसका स्पेसिफिक आंसर देना थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ टू अनएम्प्लॉयड यूथ इन तेलंगाना कितनों को दिया स्पेसिफिक जवाब देना इन हिमाचल प्रदेश वन लैख सरकारी नौकरी देंगे दिस वॉज द प्रोमिस मेड बाई प्रियंका वाजा आई है ऑडियो एंड वीडियो ऑल्सो दैट इन द फर्स्ट कैबिनेट वी विल गिव वन लैख सरकारी जॉब दे डिड नॉट फुलफिल इट देन सुक्कू जी केम एंड सेट वी कैंट गिव वन लैख सरकारी जॉब्स Finally, let me tell you what they used to do in Chhattisgarh. In Chhattisgarh, they made 36 promises. Out of that, not even 15 were fulfilled, and therefore T. S. Singh Deo refused to even write the next manifesto of Chhattisgarh Congress Party, and he said that these people don't fulfill the promises. I am not going to be a part of this, and this is the track record of Congress. Jaha hmm. jaha Congress aayi, waha par barbadi, mehngai aur loot lai. And Kishore, last point, they took the development model to such level that in Himachal, even our toilets were taxed. In the history of this country, toilets were never taxed. Then they had to withdraw that tax. And in Himachal, the salaries and pensions could not be paid yeah. because of the OPS. If this is not true, OPS was taken out of the national manifesto. Now, Sujata, I have asked you 1500 rupees ka promise. I have asked you the promise that you have given on one lakh sarkari jobs. I have asked you about the promise of unemployment bhatta of 3000 per month to Telangana youth. Give us the specific numbers and prove me wrong. Give us the specific numbers. Sujata. You know the fact is that I'm not sitting here to answer questions which are filled with fakery. The fact is that in Rajasthan, the Prime Minister during the election campaign had said that uh, the schemes which were which had been implemented by the Congress government would continue. Have you forgotten that? But has have they been continued? The uh, the health scheme was discontinued because you had to get back your scheme because you are not able to provide uh, uh, the health facilities like the previous Congress government was doing. As far as Telangana is concerned, let me tell you, Prithvi, I've spent uh, five and a half months over there, and I have seen how the the uh, guarantees are being implemented gradually. You can't implement everything. Okay, since you've decided yes, to fact check, so, Shahzad. So Jata, you yes. can perhaps give him examples on whether or not certain poll promises That's has right. have been made That's by the BJP in a few states, and they've not been able to live up to those poll promises. For example, making a big poll promise and then not being able to pay the salaries of government employees, leading to a huge delay in salaries and giving them pensions as well. Give us examples. Yes. Tell us but, what's your point but, of response. But on twenty eighth of October. The salaries with the DA and the areas in were given to the employees oh. in Himachal Pradesh. Hmm. One thing, oh, oh, oh. Uh, see, don't if you don't know. No, then what explains speak, Himachal speak, government's speak, uh, without, uh, record debt? What explains Himachal government's no, record debt? No, exactly. Who We've been putting out those figures as well. What explains Prince those Sweet. figures? Prince Sweet, who was in power there? And I'm telling you, the country is facing the debt problem. The World Bank has said. That hey, we have a huge debt on us today, and is it false that two lakh crore okay. is the debt that we have incurred? Okay, I'll, Shahzad, I'm coming back to you. So Jata, so Jata, you've made a couple of points. I need to let the other two gentlemen also come in. Shahzad, I'll come back to you after that. I'll come back to you, Shahzad. Allow me some time because the other two have not had their opening remarks. I'm coming back to you. We have Yuvraj Pokharna with us as well. But uh, Anish ji, to you before that, given that this is. you know election season in maharashtra is the indi block the mavika sagadi going to learn its lessons now from what's been said by malikarjun kharge he says please be aware look out for what you're promising look at the larger picture the finances in the state and then make these promises is this not a lesson in the learning and should this not be taken seriously because so far we've not seen any sort of implementation of the same So, Kritwin, thank you very much for having me on your show. It's my first time here, and I'm very happy to be here amongst uh, familiar faces. To start off, let me tell you, I was part of the manifesto drafting process for our party and with the Mahavikas Aghadi. And the number one rule you are following mm -hmm. is don't make unrealistic promises because you're going to come to government come November. Mm -hmm. So that should give you an indication not just of the spirits in the Mahavikas Aghadi, but also the seriousness with which we're making these promises. Right? All these promises are being vetted 
by senior leaders, including those like Jayant Patil ji, who has repeatedly cautioned against the sort of grandstanding mm. that we've actually seen from the government in Maharashtra. In fact, I'm very glad that the Prime Minister has made the remarks that he's made over the past few days because I wish he was making them to his own leadership in Maharashtra, which has gone on a record spending spree. You've seen the fiscal deficit increase from 2.8 lakh crores to 7.5 lakh crores. Mm. You've seen a record 108 GRs being passed on the last day. This has been a government that behaves like Santa Claus before Christmas at a time when the promises they make are being fulfilled only momentarily by scrapping other schemes. You asked for an example, right, of where the government has failed to sort of provide for other schemes when its promises have to be delivered. In Maharashtra, the pensions given to widows of farmers who died by suicide were halted because of the Ladki Bahin scheme, because of the schemes that promised 1,500 rupees to per cow in a gaushala, because of schemes that allowed for 10,000 rupees to young youth, right? Mm -hmm. The fact is that these schemes have been introduced in a budget session which saw a supplementary demand, and let me pull up this number, of 95,000 crores by Mr. Ajit Pawar, which was not open to discussion. Hmm. So we've simply not had the ability to okay. vet fiscal responsibility of this government. And I really hope that the conversations that we're having in the country are extended to Maharashtra, because I think you'll see... Uh, the parties that argue on either side being on a very different footing there. Mm. Yuvraj, I'm coming to you next, but before that, Shehzad needs to respond to everything that's just been raised by Anish, and these are very important questions being asked today. Shehzad, what really explains, uh, you know, schemes like the Ladla Bhai Yojana, post Lok Sabha elections, before Maharashtra Assembly elections, while you continue to teach these lessons to the INDI bloc? Do not make these poll guarantees, especially the ones you can't fulfill. What explains implementation of these schemes then in Maharashtra? Let me explain the fundamental difference between Congress and BJP model. BJP mm -hmm. means Modi ki guarantee, which is guarantee pure and Niki guarantee. And Rahul Gandhi's guarantee is Nakli guarantee. I'll tell you the difference. In Maharashtra, we have promised 1500 rupees to our Ladki Bayanas, which Mr. Gawande, I've just been told is against. Thank you, Gawande. No, 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 no. That's but what I said. Are you against me? In that scheme, uh, we have promised that it will be given to women who have the per uh, the family income is less than two and a half lakh. Congress on the other hand in Himachal promised that one fifteen hundred rupees to all the women, irrespective of the social strata, class, mm. etc. They have to pay to twenty two lakh women in Himachal. You know how many women they pay? 450. And therefore, when I'm asking Sujata, ki kitni ko mila, she started cursing me. Now, I'll ask two more questions to Ms. Sujata. Sujata ji, Telangana, mein you have promised, and this does not require financial work. But, but, will but, get but, the right but Shazad, before that, before, please, before please, you please, go to please. Sujata, before you go to Sujata, Anish Gawande did speak no, of a sorry. certain figures, fiscal figures for Maharashtra. Yes, yes, I'll come on that also. Please, Katrin, I know mm. how to be. I will not leave any question unspared. Mm. So I'll come to that also. But let me first make my presentation to Sujata. Sujata ji, gig workers promise the right to social security. How many gig workers have got it? Support price promised to farmers in Telangana. How many have got it? SCST, they promised that there will be three welfare corporations created. Instead, they diverted the SC fund of Telangana to the minority budget. And this is in thousands of crores, including in Karnataka. They have also promised six LPG cylinders to every family in Telangana. How many cylinders delivered? I want specific answers to this because she can't get away by blaming Modi. You are in power in these states. You have been in power for some time now. Answer it. As far as Mr. Gawande is concerned, Mr. Gawande should also tell you that when they left the 2014 government, at that time, the GDP of Maharashtra was 16 lakh crores. Today, that same GDP is in excess of 40 lakh crores. When they left the two and a half year MDI government, that time FDI was number three position in Maharashtra. Today, Maharashtra has become number one in FDI with 52% of the share of FDI coming to Maharashtra. When they left Maharashtra, the per capita income was a 1,77,000. Today, it has gone to two and a half lakh rupees per person. So this is the development that we have done in the last 10 years okay. and the two and a half years that we have served. Okay. We have taken the economy forward and Mr. Gawande will tell you the half truth and I'm glad. He has exposed himself by saying that they are against Ladki Bhaina. Ladki Bhaina tumhala kadi hi visarna nahi. Tumhala ata tunsi chuk saati tumhala khupas they are going to make you pay the price. 
Okay, you're aggressively campaigning in Battleground Maharashtra. That's very clear, Shahzad. I'll let you respond, Anish. I'll let you respond. And Sujata also needs to come in because certain questions have been asked to her as well. But I really need to go across to Yuvraj. Yuvraj, thank you for being so very patient. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how should the BJP or anybody supporting the BJP today react when the opposition says, BJP ki guarantee, guarantee. Hamari guarantee farzi. What is the difference essentially between the two? Shahzad did try and come in on that, but what's your view? Uh, good evening, uh, Grishwini. As a student of politics, when I observe these two parties, hmm. the difference is strikingly clear. On one hand, we have Indian National Congress, which is looking like a desert boy, desperately hankering for attention by means of arbitrary and indiscriminate promises. And I think Mr. Kharge has learned his lesson when he speaks, when he warns Congress about such arbitrary promises. And it also alludes to some internecine feuds within the Karnataka Congress. Since you all must be knowing that Kharge ji also hails from the state of Karnataka. So I think things are not hunky-dory as being projected by the Congress leadership. And the ki inside ki the house is the USP of Congress these days. Whether it is uh, Madhya Pradesh, whether it is Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, or now Karnataka. And as they say, bad economics is always good politics. So, to answer your question, mm -hmm. Sachin uh, Dursley, BJP has somehow mastered the art of delivering in terms of tang uh, tangible goods. So, whether it is BJP ki guarantee, to BJP ki guarantee logo tak jati hai. And last 10 seconds. BJP states are not moving with the begging bowl to the center. But we talk about the world best states of Kerala, Karnataka, hmm. or uh, Rajasthan under Congress rule, or the Punjab, Ahmadmi rule, state of Punjab. Now, every now and then, they move to Supreme Court or to center with begging, go begging bowls. Hmm. So, BJP ke state there the opposition will come out with another response and they'll say that you know we're given stepmotherly treatment as far as fund allocation is concerned but but Number before that hmm. okay all right sujata and anish need to respond sujata to you first uh, shahzad yes. raised a couple of questions with you go ahead you know uh, uh, i spoke about telangana because i was there for a long time and i found <clears throat> that uh, when our uh, government assumed power within two months we our earnings were increasing massively mm -hmm. Ten thousand crores uh, per year uh, per month is what uh, uh, the previous government was uh, earning but in two months time it uh, more than doubled so that clearly showed that mm -hmm. not just the earnings of the telangana government were increasing but also we came out with a clear cut report card uh, which told uh, uh, told us how much money was being spent on which scheme. For example, on the bus travel scheme, we were spending 250 crore per month. Hmm. And this was clear. And that is how it has continued. And we have not had to increase that. However, as far as power on households is concerned, free power is being given. And uh, we are spending 2100 crore per month on that. 80 crore rupees is being spent up to 200 units free for uh, uh, people uh, across the Telangana. Okay. 80 crore on extended Aro Keshri. So when you talk about, uh, yes, absolutely. And this was put out by the chief minister's office in the public domain so that people would know how much we were earning, how much we were spending. Okay. But that does not mean that we will not review our schemes, right? So mm. when we talk about reviews, it doesn't mean that we are stopping any reviews. So talking about uh, Karnataka, that uh, uh, we were talking about reviewing the scheme, we have not stopped the scheme. And the problem with the BJP is that the Prime Minister, for example, he has forgotten, he doesn't need a, le a lesson or two. He needs an entire course that he's the Prime Minister of the country. Christine. But you know, there's, there's a lack of clarity the of for the voters, also. for the people of no, Karnataka, no. Sujata. In somebody dropping some hint, the Chief Minister coming out and clarifying, you know, there's already a probe that's underway in the Muda scam. It's very, very confusing for the voter and not quite in their best interest. But Shahzad, to quickly talk about Telangana for a bit, since Sujata spoke of that, I don't know if you have yes. that detailed reaction by Ravant Reddy in front of you, but he's taken to social media uh, to put out this long message on what all he's been able to do already. In no time, he's been able to deliver on the poll promises made. So how does the BJP view that? 
since Sujata herself has said twice in this show that she has spent five or six months in Telangana and she rattled off figures of absolute terms. Forget the absolute term figures because that don't give clarity. Hmm. I am asking you specifically and please don't get angry at me, ma'am. You promised 200 units free to every household. How many households got it? You promised bus passes free to women. How many women got it? You promised 3,000 per month to unemployed people. How many unemployed people have you given it to? Mm. Tell Kriswin and tell me and shut my mouth out. No. Mm. How many unemployed are there? How many households are there? How many you gave it to? Please, one second, Kriswin, I have not interrupted. Mm. Secondly, mm. to my dear friend, Mr. Gawande, who I reiterate is one of the finest, youngest spokespersons in this country, even though he's from opposite party, mm. uh, just for his clarity, because he should not quote this figure somewhere else and go wrong. Mere saati galti kar le. Uh, the fiscal deficit of Maharashtra was 1.85%. Then the great Uddhav Thakareji came to the scene. Then it went to 2.04%, then to 2.74%. And when we have come back, it has come down to 2.05%. So, Gawande ji, you have to do this with me. You have to say that you have to do this with me. You have to do this with me. And, and you can't afford to I'll, take those I'll, chances, I'll, Anish, no, no, especially in election any chances. <laughs> Yeah. I take I take no chances. Give me a, just a quick second. Yeah. Shaza, in the in the game between absolute and relative, you quoted me on the <laughs> absolute and quoted me on the relative. So the absolute is the figure I quoted and you bounced back with the relative. But let me use that same logic to come back to you. Because in fact, when you speak about GDP growth, there's no denying that Maharashtra has grown in the last 10 years, right? That's obviously the case. But the PM Economic Advisory Council, poor Mr. Debra, who just passed away and was a leading and towering figure, his own Prime Minister Economic Advisory Council report shows that between the last 10 years, the share of Maharashtra's GDP has declined from 13.3% from sorry, from 13.3% in 2023 from 15.2% in 2010. Sorry about that. My bigger concern here though is that you've seen a situation in Maharashtra where you've seen wages sort of increase only by 35% and inflation increase by 70%. Mm -hmm. So you're facing real distress. Agrarian incomes have only increased and agrarian growth has only increased by 1.9% compared to 4.5% earlier. So you're facing a real crisis in Maharashtra, which any government, regardless of what political party is in power, has to confront. As for the Ladki Bain scheme, let me remind you that it was Mr. Pawar in 1994 who introduced the first food for work program, which led to Manrega. And we've always believed in linking any sort of cash dispersal with some sort of invest incentive link. So we will most certainly continue the Ladki Bahind scheme, but we will club it with education and health incentives as Supriya Tai has. This is a classic example of karo to problem, nahi karo to problem. No, so no, what no, should the, the, the Shinde no, BJP government is, do in Maharashtra? No, no, you, must, you, must, you, must, you must not stop your pensions for widows or farmers when you introduce Ladki Bain. Hmm. You must not stop schemes for Adivasis and for other minorities when you introduce okay. these. Okay. There must be some fiscal logic. Okay, Maharashtra is a forward-looking story, so we need to quickly hear it from Shahzad as well. Shahzad, how would you respond? Well, I am glad that uh, Gawandeji has taken this stand because Congress on record that top leadership has said that if we come to power, hmm. we will stop Ladki Bahin. Hmm. Anyways, my tip is not with Mr. Gawande. He is taking his party and Congress has a different line. Hmm. Congress se puche what I have asked specifically. 200 units how many people have given in Telangana? How many gig workers have promised? How many people have given 3,000 rupees? How many people have given this exact number? How many people have given beneficiary and how many people have given? Okay, running out of time. So last word to Sujata. Sujata, you know, Anish spoke briefly of economic advisor. Economic advisor to Siddharamayan Karnataka, in fact, made this big statement that the state coffers are depleting. So you yes, have that reaction, then you have DK Shiv Kumar saying we don't have enough money to, you know, work towards our constituency's development. And then you, of course, have Malikarjun Kharge saying enough is enough, let's stop this business. No, 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 he's never said that. Mm. He's been very clear that we must think through our poll promises before uh, and imagine the party promises. chief saying and this in public domain, Sujata. No, so it's a big, no, no, big Christine. story. Yes, it's a big story, and it's a lesson to be learned by Mr. Prime Minister, who's not the Prime Minister. He's more of a campaigner. But Shahzad asked a, a couple of questions, but I don't think he's read Mr. Raven Threadley's uh, tweet. Otherwise, he would have known that farmers and 22 lakh 22,365 farmers loan waivers have been done. I don't think he's read it. 
women and you know we have these forms that just a second don't speak in between i'm not going to answer according to you women across the state women across the state are beneficiaries of the free uh, power gas cylinders you were talking about gas cylinders right there are 42 uh, 42 lakh 90246 beneficiaries what are the numbers are you talking about i don't think you understand what you are asking are you are you reading or no are you reading or are you, are you, are you, are you, or are you not i am talking about how many 1.31 crore gas cylinder how many houses are there in telangana ever since no, how many houses are there in telangana i also I quite like ha sujata sujata while we have all the answers in raven reddy's uh, social media post each time shahzad points out a question with regards to karnataka and himachal that's not being answered so i find that very fascinating too but i do appreciate you rebutting with <laughs> facts and with as much force that's all the time we have in this edition of uh, the weekend debate but what we're also looking out for and the next big development is going to be how many uh, khata cut news updates do we hear from battleground maharashtra as far as some of these poll promises of all stakeholders are concerned